Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. We are playing as the Blood Elves. Enough chit chat. We are rolling the dice. That is going to be four. Blood Priest. Excellent. Healing Hand. Ignite. We love it. Not to mention we get one level of Persistent Missiles, which I believe is this one. So it can bounce four times. Great AoE damage. And then we're going to be sending out a little good luck, have fun, everybody. So here we are. Going, going, going. We've got our Blood Priest there. Raton Mopper is there. And then he is playing as the Blood or the, the Fell Orcs. We've got the Undead. A lot of Undead being played recently. I'm excited for the next time we get to play as Undead. And um, then we have the Trolls ahead of us. So a lot of potentially relatively spicy, spicy boys here. And so I think because we are playing as the Blood Elves, we do have a lot, we've got more mana, we've got more magic. So in all of those senses, late game, we are excellent. I'm just trying to figure out whether or not we want to try and hold tier two or tier one here. I'm tempted to go with a level of blood ma of um, a healing hand just so we can get an extra 30 heal. Could be, could be potentially very good because I think we're actually going to be beating the um, uh, undead in terms of push. We're going to be losing it against the fell orcs. And then I don't know if we're actually going to be able to hold super, super easily with the middle just yet. So I think in that sense, we will probably be going basic el el elven masonry into basic blood magic and kind of build up the um, baseline. A solid baseline for us to work off of, of, off of, off of, off of, off of, off of, so we can actually kind of defend ourselves against these potentially very, very scary early game races. It's mostly the felt orcs that I'm most worried about, but I think if we pick up two levels of elven masonry, get that passive gold coming, and then maybe go tier two here. That might give us what we need. So I'm going to be picking that up. I don't think we're going to need a tier one, maybe just a unit or two here. Because as mentioned here, we have minus 12, 20% spell cooldown on the Blood Elves. So we are pretty much the preeminent mages of the game. There's no one that's quite as good at magic as we are. I'm going to be sending him out. And then one ranger, one zero, excellent. And we've got two levels of that, which is delicious. And then I think we'll be going straight into basic steel armor just to increase our, a little bit more sustainability, which combined with our heals should give us a good front line and whatnot to deal with. Interesting little switch here that, you know, we've just gone straight for their back line. Luckily with our mages here we should be able to come out on top there no guarantee he's already three and two okay so that is a very very powerful start for the fell orcs luckily since they're right here we're not gonna have to worry about it too too much and i think frankly we go with basic steel weapons essentially we're gonna ooh, we're gonna have to go tier one tier two into the mid just to counter bulldozers bulldozer And that's fine. All right, we're going here, we're going here. Um, let's hit that repair because I don't really see us upgrading this in the next five minutes. So might as well just repair the damage that we have to repair. So we're at 375. We're going to be saving up for that sweet, sweet gold. Oh, they're also 3-2. Interesting. Very, very powerful early game upgrades here. Luckily, the trolls have not done anything of the sort. Here we are probably going to have to spend maybe potentially uh, an unfortunate amount of gold here. Let's say maybe a hundred gold to defend against this. Yeah, that would probably be my guess here. Two, one, zero. Good, 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 good. Oop, sorry, someone's at the door. 
Sorry about that guys, small technical difficulties, but we are back. So essentially all that I've done is improved this to tier two, then we got another level of advanced steel weapons, advanced steel armor, and then I think what we're gonna be doing now is quickly going to the Arcane Sanctum level two here, just so we can really start getting, oh no, we're gonna have to go tier two there very, very quickly. Upgrade complete. So that is no problem. A lot going on in the middle, and that's just, just fine by me. Train the Strider. Da, 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 dum. I think what we're probably going to want to do here now, since we are going to be start to get pushed here just a little bit. They're three and three, and we are two and two. So not too, too, for, too, too much ahead of us, but still enough that it potentially could cause some worries. And here we are, we're going to be picking up the gold mine, taking away the 75 gold from that. And we are going to be getting pushed in here pretty aggressively. But that being said, we are in pretty firm control of the middle so far. And we are pushing into the undead, finally. And then I really do think, yeah, this is going to have to be a tier one just to get rid of their front line. And then we are going to have to spend a little bit of gold to defend against it, but that'll be just, just fine. And all right, so Sergeant Neutral is slightly ahead. We like to see that. And it looks like he has gone with the extra base defense. Noted, noted, noted. All right, so luckily our guys are holding off long enough that we're not gonna have to defend too, too long against this. And our we're not gonna lose too, too much of our economic boost here. Three, two, one. Sending out that one hero. We're gonna be throwing that down so we get a good, good chunk of them dead. Two more Blood Priests, an Archer, and a Blade Dancer, and we're still around 1,500. There's nothing our barracks, our fortress can do to help us now. And we are three and two, so we're keeping up fairly admirably in that sense. One, zero, send him out just so we can defend against that. Just keep him a little bit further ahead. And then that should be that should be it. We should be in very, very good shape now. Arcane Sanctum level 2. I would say Heat Aura or Brilliance Aura. I think I'm more tempted to do the Brilliance Aura because that'll allow us to really take it, really kind of come, you know, double down on just how powerful our um, mana bonus is. I would like to send Kael'thas into the middle since we do still have a presence there. And here, it does look like they're holding on, but we are slowly but surely chewing away at their back line, and that's really kind of, to me, the indicator of whether or not we're winning. I also want to make sure that they're not too, too close, so we don't spend too much um, mana dealing with, well, we, that Kael'thas doesn't go over to the right, which is exactly what he didn't do. We love that. And now, I think we are going to be picking up Spellbreaker and Arcane Aura. Just so all of a sudden our our guys can <laughs> are essentially going to be healing a lot and sticking around a long time to deal the damage that we have to. So yeah, sorry about that. There was just a quick little... I, I've got some water damage in my building and my ceiling is leaking. And so the guys just wanted to come over and quickly double check that it was all fine. So here we are. We're finally starting to push back. Kael'thas is already level 3, and he will be making us some good, good money here. 448, and the, and the reason why I went for Arcane Aura first, and then we'll also pick that up, is because heroes are also affected by Arcane Aura. So all of a sudden, even the heroes are starting to get, to get that much more health, that much more sustainability, and it can really, really escalate out of control here. So we've got the Ancient Elven Masonry. These guys are just running back to double check that everything is fine. And then, frankly, Mana Shield, I think, would also be a really, really good one to pick up. 
because then all of a sudden our Blood Elves are going to be incredibly tanky and incredibly problematic to deal with in the long run. So uh, now I would also like to probably... Oh, okay, so we just got that. I would like some advanced Elven Masonry. They're still 3-3. Three and three. We're 3-2. Three and two. Or do we want to do that and just meet everybody at their level? Yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be picking that up. And the undead are also 3-3, three and three, but we just got the research finished for the arcane aura. Then we're going to be getting one for the spellbreaker. So good, good, good. Three, two, one, zero. We're going to be taking a little bit of damage on the building, but nothing that that's necessarily going to cause us a tremendous amount of fear or pain or anxiety. Um, uh, and here we are going 996. So we're going to be picking this up. Repair. Unfortunately, Kael'thas has been really focused by Kael'thasad. So that is a shame, but I think he's made the money that we kind of needed and wanted him to. He has gone portal level 3 into us, so we're going to have to quickly respond to that. Luckily, this is going to be going tier 2, so we're going to be pushing them back very comfortably. And so I think with that in mind, we want to just make sure we've got a thousand. That way we will we'll be able to send the hero out. And frankly, if we can go tier three and get the hero, that might, I mean, get the tier three barracks, that might just be the best thing either way. And once again, look, Kael'thas is under the effects of Arcane Aura, so that might be just what we need to kind of tip this balance in the middle over to our favor, including the fact, ooh, but the freezes and all that stuff. No, I think there's just too much disable going on there. Okay, so now that that is being pushed in, unfortunately, we're going to be picking this up because we're still going to have more than enough to send out a hero. And then once we're able to send out a hero, we'll let them push to about here, get as much experience as they need. I think Lady Leodrin's going to be the big, big one that I would like to really do. Um, Ranger Lord is excellent, but he is not necessarily the guy that I want to send out first because the people that I'm going to be sending out first will have to deal with this big old wave here. So we captured that neutral building as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit of the drop on the undead here. Yeah, so Kael'thas has fallen. That was completely expected. Unfortunate, but expected. And all of our mana shields and stuff are holding up really admirably. A nice little tier 2, which is very, very good for us to have. And that's where you see that the... Um... Oh, emergency repairs. Interesting. Okay, so building for a very, very defensive build here. So we're going to be picking this up. Just so we're going to have a little bit more help for Lady Leodrin. And then that also means we should be able to go Tier 3 relatively quickly here. Oh, he's gone Tier 4. Okay. Making things difficult for me, I see. Research finished. So we'll pick that up. All come in. I'll dump, dump this out. Now we can go tier three. She's now level five, which is perfect. And we have the advanced blood magic, which is beautiful. And then I would like to get some advanced elven masonry because this this uh. We've gotten lucky that we've been able to hold off their their assaults as quickly as we have, but that's not going to last forever. 
so we're gonna be picking that up. Raton Mepe has lost his upper barracks, okay, so that, well, he's already at tier four, so we can't push into me too, too much harder. And here we are. Okay, so we are actually just holding them here, really just kind of lock them down. Yeah, the, the incinerate's really hurting them, and our heals are getting stronger every level. And we might actually be able to pick this up, because we've got a good backline here. Patrols aren't crushing us too, too hard there. We've got Lady Leodrin going over on that side, which is excellent. Gonna be going tier three on this side. Just because I really do think we can break the undead. I really, really do. Great, and everything that's pushing, we are pushing slowly, which is what I want. That way we can get a crazy big build, uh, big wave going. And then I think what I'm going to be doing here is getting even more armor. Because really what the point is for the front line is to make sure my back line, all my mages and stuff, can do everything that they can to really just get them off of us. Incinerating Arrow is also a tempting one to get, but I think either Arcane Aura or Mana Shield could also be really, really nice. Okay, and the trolls are not tier 3 in the middle, from what I can tell. We, we do want to keep an eye on that. Alright, so uh, he's about 100. He's about, okay, so they have gone tier 3 in the middle. Yikes, yikes, yikes. That push is looking really quite nice. If I could just keep them locked into the middle a little bit longer, that might be all we need. So we're gonna pick that up. Okay, we, we won't have that, but that's okay. Here we are, he's only at keep level two. All right, there is the tier two we were waiting for. Let's we'll see if that defends what he needs to have defended here. It'll be close, it'll be tight. And then down here, I'll probably send out um, Lord Thamar. Frankly, that might we might just be breaking them there. Actually, Kael'thas is probably what we're gonna want to do here, just because there's so much and we need that AOE. Last priest down. Break their backline. Excellent. Oh, and we actually took out one of his towers. Excellent. So that means our next push is going to be that much more effective and devastating. Hopefully. That's the dream. Um, I do want to save up for tier 4 here on this side, just so we can at the very least match them. Because their aggression is really keeping me kind of on my toes. We did go tier 3 here, which is dope. And we are already back up to uh, 1,700. Oh, Jubathos is going to be showing up. That's fine. Yeah, and we're just going to be blowing up these waves here. Picking that up. Ooh, and the trolls have lost their momentum in the middle. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Alright, good, good, good. So now we've got that as tier 4. 
You've got Lorthamar and a tier two that we're probably definitely gonna have to use just to clear that up, as well as kind of power level Lorthamar. Yeah, they're six and five, so the undead are far stronger than we are at the moment in terms of just pure pound for pound um, <laughs> blood elf to undead, blood elf muscle to undead. Necro necrotizing tissue. These should be dying soon. They actually both just died then. We love it when that when that timing works out. Oh no, the trolls are actually still quite present. They're actually hitting my backline very, very hard. Luckily, there's some reinforcements incoming. The tier two was enough to really kind of slow things down, but luckily Kael'thas was not present. Graveyard still level two. Oh yeah, that's that's a tier two if I've ever seen one. Good lord almighty. All right. So we've got 400 gold to play around with here. Is there anything that is close to that? 650. Awesome. Two, one, zero. Unfortunate spawn for us. But we are going to be just saving up here. Oh, he sent out Gul'dan as well. Don't love that, but it's actually really nice for him to show up. Two of these guys, get them closer, and then they're all gone. We're going to want to focus everything we have on Jubathos. Because if we can knock Jubathos out fast, that'll give Lorthramar a little bit more of a leeway. But Gul'dan's also very, very painful to deal with. I think I'll send Lady Leodrin down here as well. Get that heal. Jubathos is now dead. Yes, now, now he's dead, and now I think I'm actually going to save up for Tier 3. Because once school Dan goes down... Yeah, so Kael'thas is dead. Luckily, Gul'dan is rapidly following as well. It's gonna be a big old push, but luckily Sylvanas is so low. Great, so now we can immediately start this. And Kael'thas, we can summon from the mid, send him down over here. Three and four, we definitely need to do better on that, but luckily, once again, with this arcane aura coming in, it's gonna be four HP per seconds plus the heals, so our heroes are becoming much, much more problematic to just burst like that. All right, so we have an extra thousand gold here. Let's get some advanced mana pool. Advanced Blood Magic is definitely high, high up on the list of priorities, but so is staying alive, and I think that's it's a good one to keep in mind as well. And luckily, Kael'thuzad and Rokan were all kind of duking it out in the middle. That's good. That's a huge push going into the Fell Orcs. We've got one more level of base defense, which is excellent. We will not have the tier two available to save our lives, but that is just fine. Five, four, three, two. If they can show up around here, all right, so we're going to have to let him get a little bit closer for me to feel comfortable. Sending Kael'thas out. There he is. Okay, 
good. We did the aggro switch. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, that's fine. We've got Lorthamar and all that coming out as well. Not the best spin to win that I've ever seen, but it was okay. Three, two, one, zero. Good. Everything's fine now. We can start getting more magic. All right. So here comes the forces of hell here, are really showing up to play the game. Then, uh, okay, can we please kill Sylvanas? <laughs> please? <laughs> All right, so we'll repair that. There goes Sylvanas, and we will be sending Infuel out into this. So we're just saving up some gold here. Just 500 more gold, and then we'll be able to actually really kind of get our stuck, our all of our ducks in a row here. Yeah, and I think we should have the Phoenix Spirit spray here. Yes, we will. Excellent. So that gives us a hell of a lot more room to maneuver. Dude, that's so much. That's so much. Okay. Two, one, zero. We're going to repair. Hopefully, maybe 3750. That way we can do Blood Knight and Phoenix Chimera at once. Because it looks like this is still going to be kind of a dead deadlock here. They're all pushing in. There's, we do our unit upgrades are really falling behind, but we do need to stay alive. Luckily, this is going to be a huge influx of cash. No, I can't spend anything just yet. At least nothing, nothing expensive, because I've got to be able to use this. If I can get this and then Phoenix Spray. I think we'll be good because that'll also be essentially healing 300 heals instantly, including 375 damage to the to an air unit. Gromash Hell Scream! Yikes! 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 All right, now 45.50. Yep. Come on, kill them faster, guys. Kill them faster. Oh no, they got the they got the best spawn. Oh my god, what a spawn! It actually seems like there's so many units here; they're actually having a hard time navigating it all. already have 1200 back. Lorthamar's dead. How did he get killed that fast? Oh, it was probably just a tier two. But that's fine because we still have all these guys on the back line. We're getting Phoenix Spirit going. Which is really, really good for us. Looks like we had similar ideas here. Northrumar, you jackass. Okay. Um. Fuck 
focus on anything but the barracks, please. Thank you. Good heal, good heal, good heal. There's another wave of our units. Xerox is getting is getting the business, which is good. What else can we be upgrading? Let's get some arcane aura. Looks like we are finally going to be able to take out that barracks. Xerox is down. Now we can just start dumping into unit upgrades. Before we do that, okay, we actually are. Yeah, so let's get some more mana shield. Now we have this, which will really rapidly increase how much um, damage in AoE we're doing specifically. Graveyard level four. Let's upgrade this to level four. We've got Lorthramar being an idiot up in the middle. That's fine. <laughs> So Kael'thas did finally fall. Still isn't quite able to crack that, but that's okay. Okay, so now we'll repair that. Oh, we've got to send Kael'thas up that way. Yikes. Okay. Well, hopefully this will be will be able to push in and destroy their barracks and fortress, killing them, and then we can send something over here to defend. Because a level twenty six Rokon is going to be ugly to handle. But luckily, they're all pushing in very aggressively. Does not have enough to defend. Okay, so that's pretty much a lane we. Hopefully, won't have to worry about for a good little bit. Let him get a little bit closer. Oh, you idiot. Oh, Kael'thas. Oh, buddy, I really needed you to show up for that. Okay. Okay, so we lost, th they lost the fortress, which is great. Sending her out on that side. We've just got to hold on for 69, nice seconds. Luckily, the lack of reinforcements is giving us, I think, all the breather we need right now. Uh, I mean, you, you could just hear the sheer amount of units that are constantly being spawned, which is why I threw Lady Leodrin down this lane. One, zero, get me more units. Excellent. Lost the middle barracks. Kael'thas is still there. Unfortunately, Xerox is also coming down, but the trolls, in a weird way, should be able to help us against that. Come on, just kill him, please. Four, three, two, one, zero. Okay. <clears throat> now let's pick up some Elven Masonry. Since our buildings seem to be struggling ever so slightly, but let's get some more health on you. Excellent. Good, good, good. Alright, so Xerox is going to be there. He's going to be kind of a recurring issue, but we'll be able to handle him as the game goes on. Let's get some advanced Mithril armor here. Arthas will be dying very soon. 
Lever Purple has lost his upper barracks. Good. Look at just the heals that my guys are doing right now. Six HP per second is very nice. Let's make sure that the barracks are not attacking Kel'Thuzad. So we're upgrading that, which is awesome. Now the next big thing that I need to know is really where they're sending their other units. Where the trolls are sending their units, that is. Where where are they all? Where are all the trolls? Oh! There they are. That's three troll heroes. We do hut level four. Be researching that ultimate weapon very, very fast. There's Spike. Okay, so we know where Inthul is. Where Inthul needs to go. And then this will be able to push through quite nicely. Don't know why my voice did quite nicely like that, but hey. <laughs> Luckily, Spike is very much weakened. So, it's taking a good chunk of damage. Level 4, level 4, level 4. Chiefs are level 3. They're 9 and 9. So, really light years ahead of my guys. That's okay. Excellent. And Thuo was pulled over to exactly where I needed him to go. I'm just gonna focus on anything but the butt spike for the moment. All right, and so now we're gonna swoop in here. What are we attacking, gentlemen? Why are we attacking their fortress? And their barracks is right there. Gentlemen, please the barracks. Thank you. Kill the barracks. It's so little life. Okay, good. So now we have 2,000 life. I mean 2,000 gold. Let's get the advanced mithril armor going. And hopefully we'll be able to destroy the fortress here pretty quick. That way we can get some heroes to defend mid. Luckily, we already have Kael'thas ready and raring to go in the wings. Hopefully, he will buy us time. out here. Come on. Just, oh my god. Stop focusing on anything but the fortress. Just have to make sure it's just, we're just not, oh, there it is. Okay, good. And we still have a tower for base defense. All right, so we lost middle barracks. That's that's a that's a that's a blow for sure. Let's pick this up. Our damned heroes are still just kind of stuck here, though. And we can, we literally do not have enough sources for research here. All right, so great. So now we'll send out Lord Thamar. 
So the fortress is gone. He's still pushing in quite nicely. Got to make sure that we're staying on top of these bonuses. These upgrades, rather. True silver weapons. Okay, and the good news is Vol'jin and Rokon are all isolated here. Then we're gonna have a big push going mid. We've got a nice push going off that way. Okay, so they're all down. Good, good, good. We really need blood sacrifice right now. Research finished. Smite on Phoenix Chimera, that's fine. We're now seven and six, so we're all of a sudden starting to like play the game a little bit more here. And now this push really has kind of been neutered. That's fine. It's just such a shame that... Um, well, actually, if you smite... Okay, so that means there's... He doesn't have that much gold available anymore. Research finished. Send Lady Leodrin down that way. That's okay. We'll repair that. And he now no longer has enough mana to defend. That's good. I don't want to send out Inthul until I have to, that, until I know which direction his Inthul is going to be going. Research finished. Okay. Twenty-three so seconds, because I want to send her over. That way she can start pushing this lane out. We still have Inthul available over on this lane. Yes, we do. Excellent. Seven. Okay, great. She'll only be two seconds behind. Two, one. Is that spike? Nope. Okay, that's fine. Great. She's level 23, so that's actually a really kind of scary Lady Leodrin. Okay. What can we research here? Essence Strain. And he, there he is just going to be pushing us out. That's anticipated. That's fine. Urzin is not going to be good enough to match Lady Leodrin, I don't think. Spike in the mid. Just keep upgrading that basic mana well. It's not looking good, guys. Yeah, they just had too much of this back line here. I wonder what bonus Voodoo Lounge. Interesting. Yeah, because what, what are, are, is it high on weed priests that he's got? Yeah, high priests. Yeah, 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 that's what it is. An allied hero has been killed. Okay, so luckily we've got our full menagerie of heroes here, as well as a tier two available.
I'm doing this so hopefully I'll be able to nuke one of his barracks here. Alright, yeah, this is uh, tough. This is tough. Hero difference might be making all the difference here. Um, we gotta let them all come in. We have blood sacrifice, don't we? Yeah, we do. Good, good, good. That's gonna be coming up in a big way here in a little bit. You gotta be real patient here. Real, real patient. Yep. Lost my left barracks. Yeah, because now that's our last in tool. At least for the foreseeable future. Two, one, zero. We're healing as much as we can, but we are just coming up against it. Heroes, his heroes are just so high level right now. It's tough to kind of keep them off of me. Yeah, there goes Enthul. Luckily, we got Blood Sacrifice, which is nice. But I think that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Sergeant Neutral Play Survival Chaos. Sorry I couldn't bring you guys a win this time around, but... Hopefully, and next time will be it. There will be a new uh, Survival Chaos game coming out on Monday. Hope you guys are ha have a great weekend. And this is Sergeant Neutral, signing out.